I just wanted to highlight this amazing open source project that as of now, I don't think it's getting enough love. I think it only has 250 stars on GitHub and it's just like, it should be have a lot more. So basically what you can do is you have some sort of mesh that it can generate um, and then you can drag the mesh around and it'll optimize in such a way that it always looks like the object while it's moving it around. So like, for instance, we're using a car model here. So it's always gonna look like a car and you can take a point in that car and you can drag it around and it'll still look like a car as the like as it tries to re-optimize for the newer position. Um, and I like it's just really fascinating that it works so well and it's open source so you can see everything I don't know it's just really cool <laughs> and I feel like this is something that like I, I think I've seen a lot of like people promising that they can do this and then it just not following through with um, and then the other thing is like you can all like you can do this today it's like up, up on github and you can just download it and it's very impressive one of the things I've noticed a lot with like text to 3d is a lot of cherry picking of data so like sometimes one of the models turns out really well but it, like if you try weirder things then it won't turn out as well and so like this i'm just impressed because if you try and like like do crazy things to it it still kind of works out like it's like um you can kind of bring it to its edge cases and it gives reasonable answers and that's something that i always really like seeing with these types of models is like when you can um try and break it and it does a reasonable job with the, how it breaks and as you drag it high enough, it starts looking a lot like some sort of lifted monster truck. So it still looks pretty reasonable in terms of the structure. And then with these models, you can save after you've done all the dragging around. And like, it's not a super high quality model or anything, but like, it's just fascinating that you can just like move things around. And then just because it's like a GAN and it's trying to like argue with itself, it can create like pretty decent representations of cars, even if you put it really far outside of its comfort zone. And there are different object types. So it's not just limited to cars. It's just that's like one of the pre-trained models that it has but it also has chairs and you can i think you can train your own because like this is all in the open source the github page does a really good job of um, explaining the installation the one caveat that i think it misses is that you need to have python 3.9 and above i tested it out with 3.8 and it didn't work but like it, it just worked out of the box for me pretty much so this package is from the same person who did stable fusion and nerf to mesh uh, so they have a few other really good, good libraries the torch ngp is also really really good so like just so many awesome repositories from this person um yeah just amazing work so this project was basically a composite of two separate projects that are both really impressive in their own rights. So there's Get3D, which is the tool that was used for generation and for kind of manipulating the meshes more so. And then there's also Dragan. And Dragan has not been released yet, but it is that whole thing where you can drag images around and edit them by just dragging them. Um, and so both of these are really fascinating pieces of technology. And it's just like, I, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of these like composite projects in the coming year where it's like two really impressive ideas from separate places are going to come together and create something that's even more like just impressive like this is very impressive stuff right now and like it's stuff that's like I think in like five years from now it's going to be so normalized that it's just going to seem like this is how things always were it's on um, like this is foundational work right here I feel like and I'm just really excited to kind of see it in development.